Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so on today's episode, we're going to actually go down and work with Edo a little bit. We're going to get him moved around and uh, get things situated. I do want to thank everybody for leaving comments from the last episode. Like uh, Kevin and Campin, Eddie, all you guys, I appreciate you. Keep the comments coming. And uh, Death by Sword Point, that's a really awesome name. So, um, keep the comments coming. I do appreciate you guys. But uh, the office is actually going to take shape pretty quickly once I work on the that chair from the last episode. But um, with that, I want to come down here and get Edo moved. So I got floor to work on here. Need floor to work on here. Oh, there's a little touch of iron in there. So I don't want to hear any complaining from you, buddy, about uh, not being able to... <laughs> Just kidding. He's got so much resources. All right, so... Drills off. Okay. Check production real quick. Okay. Turning away. How about grids? 108,000. Plenty. Okay. Actually, should have just left him there. Oops. Tagging the drill. No, 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 no. Don't want to break the drill. Ah, uh, this is not good. Not good. Um, wheels are in the deck. Yep. We gotta fix that quick before it clangs out. So we're just going to back up and reset entirely. So rotate right a little bit, then we slide left. So for those of you new to Edo, um, why does he have wheels? Because he weighs so much that just thrusters don't work. He can't actually do anything more than just hover. <laughs> so that's why uh, wheels. So, um, get in here, tip back, let's try a little tap down again, there we go, that'll work. Alright, drills are back on. So, Edo, for those of you who are new, is, uh, he's got eight drill and fills and a ton of bobs. I don't lost count how many bobs he has. A couple. He's got a couple. Six? Eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he's got eight drill or er, bobs as well. And that's to help us with getting some of this large grid scenario set up. Which he's obviously missed some back here. All right, so what we want to do is we're going to pick a spot like here, number six. There we go. Get mirroring turned on. Draw our line so we know where our mirroring is. There we go. All right, so we're going to play some blocks so we can get Edo on, on track to whoop, keep moving forward. So a part of wrapping up this uh, season is getting all of this construction done before going into orbit. And we can't get this construction done if we're focusing on one project, so... Heavy plate. Oh, that's another thing too. This entire deck down here is all heavy grid. So, we have so much resources, we're just 
throwing it at it. At just boom. There you go. Here, have some heavy grid. This done up real quick like and then we're gonna head back upstairs after that to go look at redoing the office chair so Kevin pointed out that it would be nicer if the chair sat higher up the actual seat uh, and I agree because then you'd be able to see a little bit further down into uh, the hangar I like that idea and with that, I also had a few more ideas on the chair setup as a whole, so. Come on, there we go. Yeah. And this is how you set down a ton of grids super fast. Uh, projectors run fast. Uh, this is probably just as fast or faster than uh, projectors. So I started that way because then you have to move the projectors, you have to shut everything off, you have to, there's a lot of steps with projectors and there's really only one step with this. So it's the mirroring is what makes it possible. If it wasn't for mirroring, then yeah, projectors would definitely be faster. So this will give Edo a few little tasks to do. Got that mirror pretty close to where it needed to be. That's that's cool. I'm down with that. So here we go. This will clean up pretty good. The overall goal for this is for um, if any debris falls down here, we're going to have vehicles that are going to be down here to drive around, pick it all up, and take it to a transfer station, which is over there in that corner right there. You can see the equipment, and that'll allow us to bring all the resources up to the surface. Inevitably, sending them into orbit to build a space station. Which, we have so much resources right now, we can build a space station on every single planet, a base on every single planet, and plenty of ships to ferry stuff around between all those different locations, if we stopped re collecting resources, like, right now. <laughs> Never to harvest resources, ever again. And, like that, well, that's a thousand blocks placed like that. Lickety split. So we'll turn mirror mode off for a minute. So this canyon that we're building in was named early on Coyote Canyon because the Looney Tune Acme Rocket 
uh, Coyote run, Roadrunner kind of things that I was doing at the beginning. So it got dubbed pretty early on Coyote Canyon and it stuck. I really like it. So I'm going to be doing some Looney Tune Racer things probably towards the end right before we leave. Built some weird vehicles and stuff down here for the fun of it. Alright, let's get this finished up and then we'll be able to pull Ado forward and actually have him do a serious cut, not that little trim off that he did. Alright, so let's get six again. Get this all built in. Nope. There we go. And almost done. And I better place blocks. That'll do. Alright, let's get him moved. So I gotta turn the drills off first. You see it's shaking it's like super bad. That's like not cool. Back him away from his anchor. And we'll bring him up here. Set him back down. So let's say right about there. And do a little toggle here. Take the landing gear off. There we go. Perfect. Turn the drills back on. So that's that. Eventually I'll have to get him over here to get this all welded up as well. But the goal is to get that carved out all the way across to here and then over to about here. Then finish around and come back over to here. So should take too much longer and we'll have that done. Got a little bit more blocks to place but we're not going to take care of that right now. Take that care of that a little bit later. But Ado's hard at work, so now we can go get back to work too. Where are we at on death counts? What, 45? 44. Not too bad. I thought it was 45. Hmm. Comment down below. Is it 44 or 45? This base is massive. I did, honestly, I I knew what I wanted to do when I first saw Pertram. Well, I saw these canyons, and I was like, I want to build a base inside the canyon walls. And, well, yeah, we have a base inside the canyon walls, but wow, I was not expecting this much. This is a little bit more than I had planned. In a good way, though. It's okay. Uh, we called that guy Center. Yeah. Turn it show on HUD off. There we go. All right, so the chairs themselves, um, I agree. They, this guy needs to be further up. And then the decorative parts. So Kevin was saying we should probably use the round. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Let's just go. I did not want that off. Take that off of there heavy block with that back and then this guy so if we did something oof hold on um you need to chill out dude
Oh, that moved a lot. Okay, just just chill. I'm just placing some blocks. Oh, that's violent. Is that going to cause you to chill out a little bit, hopefully? No, of course not. So we did that the whole way down. That would look much better, I agree. And then we can also move the lights onto those faces right there, so. Oh, this is, hmm, that's nerve wracking. Okay, so let's get this off of here. Alright, do we want to share tents or I mean what what's what's the deal here? Are you gonna be better now? Oh it's much better. Okay. It doesn't make me nervous every time I place or remove a block now. All right, Bob, you're gonna help me out here, buddy. Paint. There we go. All right, something about like that, that'll work. Some paint, let's get back over to our colors. Okay, better. All right, so now let's go like this. So the goal is to get one of these done the way I, I, it feels right, looks good, and then we'll blueprint it to the other locations. Okay. So part of the idea of having the chair sit higher up gave me an idea for actually having multiple chairs. Whoa. Oh, that would explain it. We got incoming. All right, so if we did something like, um, three by three. That's a big explosion. All right, so G, cockpit again. Three by three in line. What? Oh, okay. So now that I know what that one is, I kind of like it. Um, I have some ideas for that. Uh, rover cockpit enclosed, one open. 
So I think we're gonna go with this guy. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this guy. And want him to sit up here. Probably about, yeah, about there. I think it'll be fine. Okay, and then I want, let's take a look how that, we were talking about with the better view. Uh, I had that rotor locked. Why are you dampening? I, oh, because it's probably moving. We just can't see it anymore. Uh, rotor off and lock is off. Oh, we don't have a gyro yet. Gyro. Um, Euler, stop that. Oh, tensor's got to get turned back off again. Say so the block is off. Uh, rotor lock is off. I guess we turn tensor back off. There we go. Nope. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> All right, so that's better. That's way better than where it was at down here. And then what I wanna do now is I'm gonna bring this down like so. So this is going to be the core of one of these, right? And then if I put it to this guy, I don't know which is the front. I think that's the front. Yeah. I oh, know these guys facing all directions. So, what I'm thinking this is is kind of like. Um, oh, that doesn't work. Um, you have a main flight control tower. Uh, these guys all report to him, and they tell him these guys what he tells these guys what to do. And they're just looking at displays. They don't need a visual indication of what's going on. They're just kind of looking at the displays and like, yep, that's going to crash or that's going to be fine or that can go here or that can go there. And then I want to do a bunch of greebles around this. So in theory, these would all be open cockpit. You know what I mean? To where you would just walk up and climb into one of these. And then we'll have, once you're up on this platform here, you'll be able to get to this platform just fine. Maybe we have four of these? I'm not against that. Maybe it's a one-to-one -one relationship with the, the person down below. I just put these on a constant spin at that point. There's like a real slow pitch, like about like that. Let's see here. Try something. That light is massive. Oh, 
one's too far back. Ah, so is that one. That's what this looks like. There we go. That looks kind of cool. Now, especially if we change that color up. How's it look to you? Ah, it's bright. And I'm blind. Uh, space bar. Uh, you missed the spot, dude. Yeah. All right. So, um, I like it, but I don't like it. So, all right. So then we can go fill this in. So I can be like that, and then all right, a little bit easier than flying. I don't even know a place. Oh, my foot's in the way. Okay, a little bit of greebles. And the other thing, too, is we'll be able to put displays and stuff on the back of these. Like so. Put displays all over these things if we wanted to. All right, so while these are sitting here doing their bit, spinning, controlling stuff coming in and out, um, we'll have some of the other control panels around this, like leading up to it. So we'll be able to get up into there. I mean, that's not exactly how I want to get into my desk at work. So um, that'll work. And then we'll get some lights underneath here then greeble down off of them so we're not seeing what's going on with as far as like the lights and stuff like that go that'd be kind of nice if that was a way in yeah i think that would be kind of nice all right let's go back down check on ado real quick uh comment down below what do you guys think about the setup or did you like the original setup better ado's hard at work Fantastic, buddy. Keep it up. Okay, all the parts are in. It's not paper mache heavy grid. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here. I'm just going to keep moving Edo and keep working on the office. We're going to bounce back and forth between each one for the next couple episodes until we can uh, get to work down here on the racetrack at the bottom of Coyote Canyon. Appreciate you guys coming and watching the videos. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment. I appreciate you guys being here. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.